What is going on everybody? This is the brand new Bissell Hydro Steam Carpet Cleaner. It steam cleans and extracts your carpets at the same time. I'll be unboxing this machine and demonstrating how it works so you can see exactly what it comes with and whether or not you want to spend $200 on it. This machine is designed to be a spot cleaner for quickly cleaning up small messes, but I'll show you what it can do on an entire sectional and since this is a car detailing channel, I'll show you how it does cleaning carpets in a car as well. I'll list and link everything in the description below so you can check that out after the video. I make car detailing videos so if that's something that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now let's get going with the unboxing. So super excited to get this unboxed, let's get into it and I'll show you exactly what it comes with. Okay, so there you have it. Everything is unboxed. Everything that it comes with, you can see there in front of you. The crevice tool, the bigger tool, two samples, and then we have the, um, the hydro rinse tool just over here. I've just kind of put it in its home. So now that everything is out of the box, let's see if we can get this machine set up and use it for the first time and see what it's all about. To get this machine set up for first use is extremely simple. Really all you have to do is take the tank out of the back which we're gonna do here. So we're gonna fill up the water all the way up to the line here with distilled water. And then we're gonna use one of our samples and we're gonna go all the way up to the top. Okay, so we're pretty much exactly at the large area maximum fill line there. And now that we have it filled up to the water line, I'm gonna take one of these bottles here All right, so that actually took up the whole bottle. So that means the space from the large area water fill line to the solution fill line is about eight ounces. And then you're just gonna pop it right back in. That's it. So now that we got it plugged in, there's a couple of different settings on the top there. It looks like there is a steam and water setting, steam only, and then the water drop obviously means just water, so if you want to use this with just water like a normal extractor, you have the option of doing that as well. Now let's turn this on and see if it actually heats up in 30 seconds. So while we wait for the 30 seconds to elapse, I'll show you what the decibel reading is because this machine is fairly quiet. So with the iPad sitting right next to the machine, it goes from 34 to about 86 as you can see there. Now that's about exactly 30 seconds later. Now here's a closer look at the actual hose itself where the water and steam comes out from. Here's where the regular water comes out from like a regular extractor. And then that smaller side there is where the uh, steam would come out from. And the regular side is going to spray wider where the steam is going to be a bit more concentrated. So as I press the button for the first time here, you can see there's quite a bit of water that sprays out. And that's going to be normal for most um, budget level steamers but then it starts to build up steam rather quick and I was impressed by how much steam was actually coming out of there. For the first part of the couch here, I have the machine set to the steam only setting. And the thing you're gonna notice immediately right off the bat is that the steam comes out in a really concentrated form. The head itself of the tool does not do a good job of kind of dispersing the steam. So you're gonna start to see all these lines start to form as I'm cleaning the couch. This is what the spray looks like if you have it in the steam add water setting. And obviously whatever material you use this on, this is gonna saturate it a lot more. Just real quick before I finish off these couches, I just wanna show you here that there is a bit of a stain right there and we'll see if this machine is able to remove that. 
For this next part here, I want to demonstrate how much water is getting extracted when set only in the steam setting. And as you can see, there's not a ton of water. Sometimes the steam puts out a little bit more water and you just saw there a bit more got extracted. But overall, you're not pulling out a ton. A lot of that steam is just evaporating away pretty quickly. Now when cleaning any material, the one technique I kind of found helpful, and this is just because it does distribute that steam in such a concentrated area, was to kind of quickly go over the material in a sweeping motion like I'm doing here and just kind of distribute some of that steam into the material while lightly using the brushes to kind of agitate. And rather than pulling very slow while pressing the button, it works out to do it a lot better this way and then just go over the areas later with the extraction only and kind of pull any of that moisture and broken down debris out of the material. I did immediately notice that the steam doesn't get overly hot in this machine so if you're going to do steam only sanitization I don't think you'll be able to do that with this machine but with the right solution in there like the pet solution I have now this thing will sanitize and freshen up your upholstery and carpets and stuff pretty good like after I was done with all these couches the next day I noticed that they did feel like new again so that's like a big bonus there. For comparison, this is what it looks like when it's on steam and water together. And as you can see, the head there is pulling out a lot more liquid than just the steam and that's obviously to be expected. So if you're dealing with a couch or upholstery or something that's a lot dirty to begin with, this will definitely do a better job. Now just so you can see here, even when I do a dry pass over the previously um, extracted material here, we're still able to pull out a decent amount of liquid so that just goes to show that it will take a few of the dry passes just to kind of get that out of there okay so i just ran out of cleaning solution here and i'm going to show you what i got done with that tank and i got this part done here with steam this part with steam and water this was steam only but not the back and then this was steam only i started to do the back of the couch and then i ran out and then that's steam and water as you saw on the autumn in there and I did put quite a bit in there if I hadn't done so many passes I probably could have finished the entire ottoman but uh, definitely not the whole sectional with one tank that's for sure uh, now if we take a look at the actual uh, couch itself it's still wet but overall they look pretty good this machine did a pretty good job now the one thing that I'll show you here is if you take a look, you can see that the clean side is all used up and on the dirty side, there's not a lot of water in there. And what that means is that this machine put a lot of water into the material, but when it came to pulling the water out, I would say it pulled out only about half of what went in there. But as you can see, that water is pretty filthy. It's pretty disgusting. And this is where this machine shines because on a daily basis, you don't realize how much debris and dirt is actually in your couches until you use an extractor like this and then it truly shows you how dirty the material is that you're sitting on every single day. So that's quite the little interesting little tidbit to take a look at there. Now with this machine, if you're going to use it with a regular extractor with the water setting, it does put out quite a bit of water, so you have to keep in mind. Now with these couches, I did a mix of water and steam and the sections that I did, the steam only like right here, they're already starting to dry and it's supposed to dry in about half an hour and it's pretty dry actually in just 20 minutes. There's some spots like this that I went a little bit heavy but the rest of it's not bad. But then the water and steam section in the middle there, that's definitely a lot more saturated and you can kind of see that. Um, this one will take a lot longer, I'd say at least about an hour or so to dry. Here's after everything was dried and as you can tell there's a clear 50-50, the right side's clean, the left side's dirty, so that's pretty impressive. Let me know in the comments if you can see that. Now as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is a car detailing channel so of course I use this machine in a car detailing scenario as well. And overall, I mean, if you're going to use it for small spill cleanups, like say for example you're driving and you spill a little bit of coffee, you can come home and quickly use this machine to clean up that kind of mess. This car was a little bit worse to begin with but I was able to pull some pretty nasty stuff out of the carpet but I would say overall this machine I don't think I'd necessarily use it for car detailing per se unless I had no other option. Even the Bissell Spot Clean Professional is a little bit better. I did love the little crevice tool though because it was able to get into tight spaces like this pretty easily and that was one thing I really liked about it. But overall for small spaces or small little cleanups it's good. 
full details probably not as much. Having only used what came with this machine to do this demonstration, I would say the results aren't too bad. Some areas like this in the corners and the edges of the seats were a little worse to begin with. But if I had used a stronger uh, chemical and maybe a drill brush, this extractor probably would have been much better. But I just wanted to demonstrate it as it was. But overall, not too bad. Okay, now let's talk about some of my pros and cons with this machine. Some of the pros are that it comes in pretty cheap. It's only $200 USD and about $229 at the time of this recording in Canada, where I live, so that's how much I paid. Uh, it's got a really small footprint. This is about a foot and a half squared here, and as you can see, it just sits really nice in that spot. Uh, the cord, super nice and long, 15 foot three prong cord and it wraps around super nicely around there and it just plugs into any household 15 amp circuit so you don't have to worry about tripping a breaker and then another thing is that it's got a real nice organization system around here as you can see like i showed the power cord has its little space where it sits the hose down here has its little nice wrap around space the little hydro rinse tool down here has this nice little space as well so when you're done using that you can put it back now the only thing that this is missing, and it would have been super nice if they just put that on there, would be a space for this guy as well. And as you can see, I've got the main extractor head just connected to the machine, so that stores that part of it, but then this has nowhere to go. If they had just put a little space somewhere there, it would have made the whole thing just super complete and super nice. Now you have to store this separately, put this separately, and that just increases the risk of losing it. But it heats up super quick. The little sticker here says 30 seconds and then I confirm that as soon as you turn it on from with cold water it does heat up in 30 seconds and you are good to go right after that. The other thing is that this little crevice tool that it comes with is amazing. It's one of my favorite features of this machine and I wish this thing would go on to my Bissell Spot Clean Professional. It just doesn't but this again one of my favorite tools you can get into nooks and crannies and you can clean grout and tiles with this as well. Overall, it's extremely quiet. I'll do a little decibel test so you guys can see how loud it is, but those are the pros for this machine. Now some of the cons. One of the cons is that it, I think it has really weak suction, um, and that might be just because of the head here being a little wider, so the suction is like uh, distributed a little bit more, but it's got weak suction in my opinion. You saw there how much dirty water came out versus how much clean water we put in there. It was quite a bit left deposited into the material. The other thing is that the water that comes out of this if you use it on the water only setting is not hot. I think Bissell missed a huge opportunity here. They had a heater already built into here for the steam. They could have made it so that the water spraying out for water only extraction was also hot, which would have been a huge bonus for such a budget machine. But unfortunately that's not there. Maybe if they create a professional version of this machine, I'd suggest putting some kind of water heating system on there because hot water extraction is definitely a lot better. The tanks are pretty small, but that's to be expected. This is only a spot clean machine. So do expect to go through several of these tanks if you're gonna clean a car with it. The other thing is the hose right here is pretty short. It's only five feet long, but again, that comes with the same territory of this being a spot clean machine. So if you're gonna clean your car with it, you're gonna be roll or carrying this thing around with you all over the place. The one thing I did see on the Bissell website though, is that this does now come with wheels. And then after I looked at that, I looked at the bottom of this machine and it does have spots for wheels. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually roll it around with you. The other negative is that and this is probably the biggest negative is the steam just does not get hot enough in my opinion. Uh, I did a quick search on the CDC website and I read that you have to be between 121 and 132 Celsius when it comes to steam or 250 Fahrenheit and 270 Fahrenheit just to get some steam sanitization done. And I don't think this gets hot enough. And then the one thing I noticed was where the steam comes out of, it's all plastic. There's no metal like it is with the Bissell steam shot and other professional uh, steamers. So definitely a bit of a letdown there. But overall, not too bad for what it is. This little machine is good for what it's designed for, which is quick little cleanups and small messes around the house or car. Although it can be done, I wouldn't be necessarily using this to clean entire couches, and I wouldn't be using this to detail cars. The tanks are just a little too small, and the suction, in my opinion, is just not good enough. The Bissell Spot Clean Professional is still my go-to budget extractor for beginner detailers. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can go check that video out. It's going to be popping up right about here. And if you want to support this channel, go check out the affiliate links that I'll place in the description below. Or alternatively, you can hit the super thanks button, which is just about over there. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you, and I'll see you on the next one.